breaking. Trump's actually going to do IT. Stand your ground Trump. The left has been in a constant temper tantrum since Donald Trump was elected and their absurd antics do not seem like they'll be ending anytime soon. With each passing day, President Trump continues to slash Obama-era programs that only reward poor behavior and harms the average American working hard to provide for their families. Now, as the new year has begun, Trump is more determined than ever to ensure that the Democrats do not get their way of harming our country, culture, and people anymore by standing his ground in a big way. During Barack Obama's administration, he did his best to usurp the Constitution by enacting several programs designed to weaken the United States. With a stroke of his pen, he would sign one executive order after another, dismantling our country's sovereignty with the hope of crashing our great nation. After years of this abuse, the American people had enough and voted for the one person who pledged to bring our country back from the depths of despair, and elected Donald Trump. For the past year, President Trump has been busy overturning Obama-era programs that benefited everyone else in the world, but the American people. Last summer, on the chopping block, was the Obama-era CIA program that helped arm rebels who were fighting the Syrian government. Then there was the Paris Climate Accord and NAFTA that only protected foreign interests over America, and Trump has just been in office for less than a year. However, the most significant cut of the year was Obama's hotly contested Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA, that caused the left to disintegrate into hysterics. After the program was slashed, Democrats on the Hill promised they would fight back to protect their future voting bloc by attempting to blackmail Trump into signing this bum legislation into law, or they would shut down the government. Trump is no one's fool, and instead of bending to these petulant liberals' demands, he has turned it right back on them which has these raging Democrats screaming. Here is more Daily Mail. President Donald Trump is setting Democrats up to take the blame if the government goes into free fall at midnight on Friday evening. The federal government could shut down, with the exception of essential services, if leftover business that's bottled up in Congress explodes. Trump said in a Tuesday tweet that it will be the opposing party's fault if it does because they are refusing his demands on immigration. The Democrats want to shut down the government over amnesty for all and border security he claimed. The biggest loser will be our rapidly rebuilding military, at a time we need it more than ever. We need a merit-based system of immigration, and we need it now. No more dangerous lottery. Lawmakers are hashing out a deal to prevent the deportation of young immigrants brought to the country illegally as children and an agreement on other immigration-related issues, including President Trump's long-sought U.S.-Mexico border wall. Some legislators want to provide the illegal immigrant youth, known as Dreamers, with a pathway to citizenship, which is tantamount to amnesty. Legislation Trump rejected last week does not include amnesty for all, however, as the president claimed in his tweet. Trump and members of Congress and both major parties are confronted with a consequential week that includes shutdown brinksmanship linked to politically freighted negotiations over immigration that were made more difficult after the president reportedly derided immigrants from his whole countries. Under fire from voices on the right and the left for the remarks, Trump went on the assault this past weekend on Democrats, who he said do truly want to save the dreamers. Meanwhile, there are increasingly urgent deadlines for disaster aid and renewal of the popular children's health insurance program. A government-wide spending deal, billions of dollars in help for Hurricane Slam Texas, Florida, and Puerto Rico, and health care financing for 9 million children from low-income families have been on hold for weeks, caught first in a crossfire over taxes and now held up in a standoff on immigration. Okay, let's break this down together, shall we? What the left is doing is trying to make Trump look like the bad guy by not caving into the Democrats' demands for DACA by painting this as Trump wanting to shut the government down, and it isn't going to work. The only reason the left wants DACA so bad is so they can register them as Democrats and have them vote for them in the 2018 and 2020 elections. These people do not care if the government shuts down and guess what, the majority of conservatives do not either.
What matters at this point is not allowing these liberals to run ripshot over the American people anymore by bullying us into accepting bad deals that do not put our best interests first. If these dreamers want to be citizens so bad, all they have to do is apply like everyone else before them and wait their turn to be accepted, because the free ride is over, and it is about damn time, damn time.